Love rice, you're not alone. Millions of Americans love it too. But white rice breaks down quickly in your body, causing blood sugar spikes. This can be a concern, especially for those trying to manage their blood sugar. So today, I'll be sharing a simple kitchen hack that lets you enjoy rice without the sugar roller coaster ride. Hello again and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Hans MD, where we 10 extra success by optimizing your health. Rice is the most consumed grain in the world, and it's a good source of complex carbohydrates, providing sustained energy. It's naturally low in fat and sodium. Rice also offers essential vitamins and minerals like B vitamins, magnesium, and iron. However, did you know that a bowl of white rice can spike your blood sugar just like candy? That's right, according to a study done at the Harvard Medical School, white rice is similar to table sugar in its effects. White rice on average, on average has a high glycemic index of 72, meaning it raises blood sugar rapidly. This can be a serious concern for anyone managing blood sugar. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, roughly 136 million adults in the United States are either pre-diabetic or actually have type 2 diabetes. Managing blood sugar is definitely crucial for overall health and for preventing complications. That's why I'm excited to share a research-backed strategy to help you navigate this. A 2022 study published in Nutrition and Diabetes offered a ray of hope. Researchers have found that cooling cooked rice significantly reduced the blood sugar spikes in people with type 1 diabetes. Fascinating, right? The secret? Resistant starch. This special type of carbohydrate forms as cooked rice cool. Unlike regular starch, resistant starch acts like dietary fiber, slowing down digestion and sugar absorption into the bloodstream. This translates to a gentle rise in blood sugar, promoting overall better blood sugar control. When we cook rice, the starches absorb water and expand in a process called gelatinization. As cooked rice cools, it undergoes a process called starch retrogradation. During retrogradation, the starch molecules rearrange, forming resistant starch. Unlike regular starch, resistant starch benefits your blood sugar. Because of its altered structure, your body can break it down as easily. This means resistant starch enters your bloodstream more slowly. This hack is incredibly easy to implement in your kitchen. Simply cook your rice as usual and allow it to cool. Spread it out in a shallow dish or baking sheet and refrigerate for at least 24 hours. Refrigerating rice for at least 24 hours allows for significant starch retrogradation to occur, creating more resistant starch. The technique works best with white rice, as brown rice naturally is more resistant starch, rendering the cooling effect less pronounced. The beauty of this hack is that it's not just for rice. The cooling trick works with other cooked starches, like potatoes and pasta. The study showed in a 2010 review published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition suggests that reheating refrigerated potatoes can significantly re reduce their glycemic index by the same mechanism. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition Bulletin in 2006 found that freezing bread before toasting lowered its blood sugar impact compared to fresh bread. While the cooling trick is powerful on its own, here are some additional tips to maximize its benefits. Number 5. Mind your portions. The American Heart Association recommends that adults consume 6 half-packed servings of cooked grains per day. While cooling rice helps, it doesn't eliminate the carbohydrate content and calories of rice. Portion control is still key. Number 4. Eat some veggies first. Fiber controls the release of glucose in the body. Although rice in itself is fiber-rich, getting fiber from non-starchy sources like vegetables before consuming your rice will further delay a rise in blood sugar. Number 3. Have some protein. Pairing protein with carbs helps offset blood sugar spikes and promote satiety, which helps you stay in healthier range. Consider grilled chicken, steamed fish, or tofu with your rice dish. 
Number two, add the dab of healthy fats. Like protein, healthy fats eaten with carbohydrates can help keep blood sugar levels steady. Think avocado, nuts, or a drizzle of olive oil. Fats and proteins take longer to digest than carbohydrates. So eating them together slows down digestion and absorption in the intestines. And number one, add a splash of vinegar. In a previous episode, we discussed how vinegar controls blood sugar. Adding a teaspoon or two to your dishes can further reduce the glycemic impact that break down carbohydrates. So the next time you fancy a rice dish, remember these five tips and add them to your rice cooling trick. If you like more evidence-based health tips to help you on your wellness journey, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your suggestions. I hope you enjoy this neat trick every time you crave carbs. Join us again for another episode of Dr. Hans MD where we 10x your success by optimizing your health.